Dodge builds sure have taken the limelight the last few months, especially since the One Down update rocked everyone's world and everyone ran to the crossbows for solace. Even in the recent crime spree mode on higher crime sprees, dodge again seems to reign supreme. Or maybe it's just because most people have become accustomed to that playstyle and now it's just plain regular to use it. In a strange turn of events, even the most recent PC update made more dodge possible. Not making it weaker or making armor better, but strengthening dodge as the king of the castle when it comes to builds. So having gone through one down dodge builds using crossbows and even the broomstick pistol, next up for the royal treatment is the sniper rifle. Nothing says more dodge than strapping a 30 pound 50 cal sniper rifle to your back and dodging endless amounts of firepower. Today we'll look at an effective sniper dodge build and a couple of potential variants depending on your preferences. First off, as always, is the poke deck, and for the ultimate chance to dodge, we have to go rogue, both literally and figuratively. With a high concealment and not using Sneaky Bastard, we get 50 dodge using the two-piece suit. We'll also take a skill that gives us 10 more dodge while sprinting, so we have to stay on the move at all times. The primary weapon I use here is the Thanatos Sniper Rifle, dealing 3807 damage with silencer skills. This makes it the third highest damage weapon in the game, and first if you don't count rocket launchers. The ammo pool and ammo pickup is pretty damn terrible, so a variant of this build will show a way to avoid that. The secondary weapon is the Street Sweeper Shotgun using the Dragon's Breath Rounds. Moving away from the traditional explosive secondary, the Street Sweeper offers high ammo capacity and the highest ammo pickup rate of any shotgun. The initial damage of the shotgun is low, but the Dragon's Breath Rounds stun the enemy it hits and deals damage over time while they burn. This makes it extremely effective when dealing with large groups of enemies or when an objective is trying to be reached. Alternatives for both of these weapons could easily be any other sniper rifle as the primary, or a grenade launcher, regular shotgun or pistol for a secondary. On to the skills. In Mastermind we take medic skills up to Inspire Ace, grabbing Combat Doctor Ace on the way for our two Doctor Bag deployables. Next we are taking full Joker skills for the extra manpower along with the speed and health boosts that come along with it. With the recent change in joke skills on the PC, these will become one of our variables when looking at other options. For console players, as of this video, jokers are still extremely effective. In Enforcer we take Underdog Basic for a damage bonus, Resilience Ace for armor recovery and flashbang help, and then Die Hard or Transporter Basic depending on which you would prefer. In the Ghost Tree we take Duck and Cover Ace for a stamina and extra 10 dodge while sprinting, then Parkour Basic for a slight speed boost. The staple skill for me here is Shockproof Ace for Taser Defense. Not everyone's favourite use of points, so feel free to reallocate these 9 if you feel necessary. I keep them on all of my 1 down builds now. For Silent Killer skills we take the Professional Basic and Specialized Killing Ace for a 30% damage boost on our Sniper Rifle. Finally Optical Illusions Basic for the 35 non-target chance. In the Fugitive Tree we go all out and ready for battle and the chance to go solo if needed. 9 Lives Ace is a must and then Swan Song Ace. Fain Death Ace and Messiah Ace. All these together round out the ability to not only give you the best chance of survival with your team, but allow you to be the last man standing and survive alone and bring back your team if necessary. So the build just showcased is how I play it 90% of the time. Here we can take a look at some other ways to play it if you so wish. The change up to free up points is the Joker skills. If these guys aren't your cup of tea after the update then remove them and free up 22 points. My first variant will put these points into Jack of All Trades in the Technician Tree and allow you to go in with two Doctor Bags and an Ammo Bag to aid with any Sniper Ammo issues. The remaining 10 points I will place in the Sharpshooter Tree for more damage, stability and reload speed. The second option would be to go with Shotgun Skills and go up to the Overkill Skill for extreme damage. With this I would remove the Dragon's Breath Rounds and maybe take the Judge or Locomotive as the secondary instead. These points could also be respect to pistol skills if you wanted to take a pistol as your secondary. The final option could be drill skills. If a heist needed it and being coordinated with your teammates, this could be extremely valuable. The last options in this build are the melee and throwables. I typically go for a stun melee like the buzzer, electric knuckles or kunai knife, and for the throwable I usually take the concussion grenades to aid in getting to and from objectives. So that's the dodge sniper build that I've been using quite frequently, with a couple of variants that you may like instead. Extremely fun to use and it serves a lot of utility. Let me know which of these variants you like or run or what changes you would make yourself. Dude, seriously. Nice. This is brutal, mate. No, dude. I'm out. Oh, I made it. 
Made it. No, dude. Shit, 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 and double shit. Come on, man. We got it, we got it, we got it. Pain death. Whew. One sniper less. Play Hollywood shoot time mode. I used to, mate. But it used to lag my computer too much. Come on. Dude. Dude, no. Shit, man, this is crazy. Stand up against the wall and I am the fucking wall. Camper. Cameron, thanks, dude. I think it's 1999, gamer. Come on, help me out, bro. This is crazy, dude. Come on, man. 43 left. Clutch? I don't think so, mate. Come on, dude. Just survive. I know, dude. We can try it. No, dude. I don't have a... Uh... No. Holy shit. Let's turn into the Death Wish trailer. Dude, he sniped me. No, dude. Shit. The second pellet. Oh, no. There's no one around. Holy shit, boys. No, just stop swan sunning me. Dude, this is brutal. I'm just gonna wait, boys. I'm just gonna wait. What do you call a fake noodle? Impasta. Woo, lascivious. What's up, dude? Twenty-seven left. Come on, boys. Think we can make it? This is crazy. How did you get to jump? Jump to get up. Oh, it's a uh, Messiah. The skill Messiah. Dude, there's a sniper up there. Their snipers are ridiculous. I even see him. Oh, he's there. I see him now. Come on, round end. This is crazy. It's one song in grenade launcher. Yes, yeah, brutal, mate. Get him, mate. Come on, man. We got it. News reveal. Does, does war make any sense? Wall. Come on, man. Those are there. Get him, mate. Get him. You have a headache. I do too, mate. Just... Oh, I killed one of them. Damn. What's that, call box? Need ammo too. We got ammo anywhere? Shit, man. Crazy. I'm using a dodge sniper build, mate. It's a little nuts. It's working. No, uh, get we didn't get ammo, up. right? Or we'll use it. Denny Sass. Thanks, my friend. Where's he? Dude. Ah, oh, I got to reload. Only got two bullets left. Well, what's up, dude? Five live in a row. Futurist futuristic. What's up, dude? There we go. We'll No. Move in. See you, dude. Who's in? Someone's in. Help me out. Cringe Kid, what's up, dude? Skyrim, what's up, dude? No, dude. 
Come on, fiend there. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it, dude. Sacrificed. Come on, dude. Damn, son, this is mental. No! Did I kill him? Shit, man. We're getting there, boys. Memes.